What's up guys, we're back and it's Friday so you know what time it is. Time for What the Fitness. We have back on the show, Gary Brecka. You know, I feel like Gary has kind of like moved into the pole position on What the Fitness. Like Paul Saladino had a strong, strong, strong showing. He was in that pole position. You know, he's kind of he's trailing off in second place now. I feel like Gary is taking the lead and sitting hard in that pole position. So let's see what Gary has to say. Uh, and this was on an account on Instagram called Income Parent. By the way, what is with all these business entrepreneurship motivation accounts that are like, it's like this weird neocon Bitcoin fasting, low carb. Like, bro, I follow, I follow this for business advice, for motivation. Why are you talking about fasting? Just shut the f up. Okay, but anyways, let's see what Gary has to say. What happens when you don't have any sugar in your bloodstream? You're dead. Is you get to the you're, gym. You're dead. And you now have you have a 20 minute reserve of glycogen. This also is not minutes. true. 20 minutes into your workout, you're out of energy. Your yeah, body needs energy Regardless of intensity now. or set number. It takes three minutes exercise. to liquefy lean muscle. It takes three minutes takes to liquefy lean muscle. To turn fat into energy. It takes five hours to turn fat into energy. Where do you think your body's getting energy? It's burning your own lean muscle. Yeah, so what so happens is you're going hammer down on the treadmill. You are actually digesting your- well, Gary just likes to like make up his own facts. Yeah, we're, we're just not gonna even bother with the rest of that. Gary likes to make up his own facts. He likes to cite things with no citations. First off, 20 minutes to burn through glycogen. If that was the case, where are all these endurance athletes just not like keeling over after 20 minutes? So muscle glycogen is not depleted that quickly. Now you can deplete it quickly with certain types of exercise in certain situations, but this blanket number of 20 minutes, yeah, okay, you go in and you're like on the machine chest press and you do a few sets and it's 20 minutes, you deplete all your glycogen. Like, off, Gary. I promise you, nobody, he and nobody who follows him is exercising intensely enough to burn through all their glycogen in their entire body in 20 minutes. You store about three to 400 grams of glycogen in your body that is about 1,600 calories of stored energy. You're not burning through 1,600 calories of stored energy in 20 minutes. You can debunk this stuff if you just know simple math. That's all you need, just simple math. Now, it takes five hours to turn fat into energy, but hang on, there's no glucose in your bloodstream, which you're actually dead, but hey, whatever, fuck it. Uh, might as well just make, if Gary can make shit up, so can I. And then you burn out of glycogen in 20 minutes. So he's saying in three minutes you liquefy lean muscle. If that was the case, every single marathon runner would literally lose pounds of lean mass every marathon. Now, marathon runners may not have the most impressive physiques, but I promise you they're not losing three pounds of lean muscle. Liquefies in three minutes? No, Gary, no, no, no. No, still no, no, no. You're full of shit. It actually takes quite a bit of work to lose muscle tissue once you've built it. Typically it comes through detraining, deloading. If we look at actual studies where people do aerobic exercise versus people who are sedentary, we actually even see aerobic exercise actually can build a little bit of lean mass, okay? So this idea that like you're liquefying your muscle by doing exercise, just off with this stuff. This is absolute crap. This is tailoring to the lowest common denominator who doesn't want to exercise and does this to say, see, I don't want to liquefy my muscle. Yeah, all these bodybuilders out here who aren't eating during their workouts, by the way, who are doing two hour workouts who are liquefying their muscles. Like, do you, do you guys that follow him, do you listen to him talk? Do you actually hear what the f he says? Five hours to turn fat into energy? Are you fucking kidding me? No. First off, you are always oxidizing fat for energy. It's always happening. And it doesn't take that long. It doesn't take long at all. All you gotta do is have that lipase, go in the triglyceride, free up them free fatty acids, send them wherever they gotta go to go through beta oxidation, and boom, you have ATP. Does it take longer than carbohydrate as glycogen that's stored in the muscle? Yes, but it does not take five hours. And it's a process that's always going on. 
And by the way, you see fat oxidation ramp up pretty damn quick during exercise anyway. I, I mean, I, honestly, I just, I keep ruminating over it and saying the same thing over and over because I just can't fucking believe that any of you believe this shit. Like, tell me that you were dropped on your heads as babies. Like, please tell me this if you believe this crap because there's nothing to back up what he's saying. He's making up numbers out of nowhere and he has done this consistently ever since I got the first God-forsaking video of him talking absolute shit. All right, I'm done.